acting crew. So today I am going to show you how to do this graduation stole one more time, the exact same one that I did in the last video, but I'm going to do it in 13 by 19 paper. Just in case you have a different paper size, I want to make sure that you don't have to watch my other videos in order to get this done. So first thing we're going to do is go to our page set up at our top right hand corner is the first thing that you see we're going to change our paper size to 13 by 19 yay perfect the next thing we're going to do is going to go to file open and we're going to bring in our graduation stole y'all this does not have to just work on graduation stoles anything that you're doing that's full bleed this process can still work on it too the next thing i'm going to do is select our image and when you select your image, the width and height of that image is going to come up. We're going to change this to a four and a half, well, 475. Change it to 475. Why? Because I've pre measured our graduation stole and it, exa it is exactly four and a half. I'm doing the extra quarter of an inch so that we can have a little bit of bleed. The next thing that I'm going to do is change our height. The way I change the height is I'll go to this to the middle and I'll just drag down in order to get the, to the height I want. The reason I do it this way is because if I just, it, my image was so large that if I had just changed it at that top part, my image sometimes gets lost and I have to like go and scroll and find it. And I don't really like to do that. So I do it this way. And once it gets small enough, then I'll just click on it and then make it 36.25. It really needs to be 36 inches. And the reason it's 36 is because our graduation stole that we're doing is 72 inches. If you're doing a 60-inch graduation stole, each side will be 30 inches, right? But I'm doing a 72, so each side is 36 inches. So I'm going to do 36 and a quarter just so I have that extra bleed that y'all know I like. All right. So the next step I'm going to show you guys, we're going to duplicate our graduation stole. I'm going to click it one time, right-click, and duplicate so now we have two graduation stoves. Perfect. All right. We're going to bring one of them into our page. And we'll make sure it fits in there really good. And then we're going to go over to our knife tool. I know in our 11 by 17 video and also our 8.5 by 14 video, we used the draw tool. And this one we're going to use our knife tool only because... We're only cutting this into two pieces. So I'm going to click on our knife, and I'm going to slice. Where I'm going to slice is, it's kind of towards the bottom of the page, but into probably my Y. Let's cut into this Y. So let's click right here, and we're just going to drag this knife across. And we're going to try to make it as straight as we can, but, you know, if it's not perfect, look, life happens. So we do that, let go, and then we're going to go click off of the knife tool and back to our select tool. I know you guys are tempted to just bring this bottom piece up to this top part and press print. I don't do that. What I do is I'll delete this. I'll delete this one and I'll bring over that second duplicate graduation. So I know you're saying, true, why do you just why you just don't print that other one and why do you delete it? Well, the reason I delete it is because I like to have that bleed that I was talking about. And if I just print that other one, I'm not going to have any overlap. Um, so I'll bring this next graduation stole into frame. Well, and I, this is just this personal preference, y'all. You can do it your own way, but this is how I like to do it. I'll bring it where it's close here. And I'll go back to my knife tool. And I will slice a little below the Y, probably, um, well, a little above the Y, I'm sorry. Probably, like, into the middle of it. Yeah, right here. And then I'll go to the Select tool, and then I'll delete this part. And the reason that I do that, I'm about to show you, is so that when I put these two together, y'all see? Hold on. Click on this one. I have a little bit of overlap there. I know y'all probably like, oh, it's not that much overlap. But if I click over to the side here, y'all can see that it's overlapping. My image is overlapping just a slight bit. So anyway, this is the way that I do it. You know, by all means, you can just take your other one and just add it to the top and be fine with it. But 
I like just a little bit of bleed. Actually, I could have used a little bit more bleed. Honestly, I could have like took the whole eye. Yeah, we probably could have took a little bit more. But hey, anyway, this is how. Now we're going to print this. And the joy about using the big paper is you only need that one sheet of paper. So unlike my eight and a half by 14 paper where I needed three sheets, we only need one sheet for this one. And make sure you go to file, page setup, and change your paper size. Of course, y'all see I used smaller paper just a second ago. So let's change it to the 11 by, I'm sorry, 13 by 19 paper is what we're going to use. And our printer is the Epson 16600. And we hit OK. I'm going to file, print. And when it, you go to print, you just got to make sure that everything fits inside the frame. See, you see this gray border line? It just makes sure that everything fits. And that's perfect. And we're going to print that out. And I'll see you guys over at, not the press this time, but over at our next video where I'll be putting this together so you can see the final product of the graduation. So like, share, subscribe, and see y'all next time. Bye, guys.